Hi, uh, my name is Vinay Reddy. I'm a um, physician who practices physical medicine and rehabilitation in the Sacramento area. Uh, I went on to become board certified in electrodiagnostic medicine and also pain medicine. Uh, today I have a uh, medical practice that primarily deals with the treatment of chronic pain. We know that chronic pain is defined as any pain that lasts longer than three months. And once people develop that, it becomes very unpredictable. So you end up using, you end up using a, a number of different modalities to try to treat it. You know, one might be physical therapy, another uh, would be pain medications or anti-inflammatory medications. I think everyone's heard of the opioid epidemic. More and more people are having to take narcotics for the management of their pain. Sometimes it's appropriate and sometimes it isn't appropriate. But most of the time people end up doing this because there's no easy solution to their pain. Pain medications are a problem in that very rarely do patients actually improve with pain medications after a certain dose. So the way we use H-Wave is to reduce, it, reduce the opioid dependence. So if we have a patient who we inherit who's already on 120 morphine equivalents, our goal is to get them below 80 because we know that while there's still risk, it's a lot less risk. But what we can do with H-Wave as an adjunct is to bring them down into safer doses and therefore manage their pain better. I think, I think H-Wave could be um, one of the solutions to the opioid crisis, meaning that we know that people are on high dose opiates. We know that the high dose opiates are, are associated with higher risk of what not only overdose but other, other things that can happen with the body. I feel like H-Wave is a, a weapon that we can use to really help people wean off the medications and get them to a safer dose and also really effectively treat the pain. One of the problems with opiates is that it works on the brain and it truly is a band-aid. It's not actually uh, working at the, at the target where the pain is coming from. H-Wave is something we can use to treat the neuropathic inflammatory component. So we're actually treating the underlying problem, not just masking the pain. So the question is whether the pain medication really improves function, which is always the goal of any pain management that we do. While we always want to reduce pain, pain is subjective. Uh, one patient who has six out of 10 pain may be much more functional than another patient who reports six out of 10 pain. But what we see with H-Wave is that we see people uh, who are able to return to work. We see people who are able to do things at home that they enjoy, like picking up their children, doing the dishes, uh, just normal activities, basically. Just studies show that there are a lot of risks associated with deconditioning. So if the, the, the faster we get people moving, the more aerobically fit they're going to be, and, the, and they're going to be much less likely to end up taking medications. So we see that um, in the old days, many, many patients would have a surgery, and they'd get a 90-day supply of opiates, and basically told, come back in, in three months and see how you're doing. Those guys never did that well. Today the approach is we want them moving the next day if we can. We do want to limit their opiate prescription to about two weeks. Very few people will need to be on it for more than two weeks. And then after that, it has to be an active process. The more active a person is, the more independent they are. M meaning that, again, if you can, the more you move around, the less dependent you are on family members, on, on home health services, things like that. And so as a result, there's just going to be an overall better outcome. Uh, H-Wave creates independence. The pa a patient gets a device, they can use it at home, they can use it at a time that's convenient for them. So for example, if someone works a night shift, it's no problem. You know, ap after work, they can use it. Before work, they can use it. Um, it's, it's fairly easy to charge. It's basically, it's portable. If you're going on vacation, you can use it. So I think that that, that is the, um, the effectiveness of it. In that one of, one of the big problems with any type of modalities like therapy is that you you know it does take time to go there you know, one of the biggest reasons why there's non-compliance in physical therapy is the amount of work it takes to get to the, the the therapy appointment you have to schedule around work and again it's the the modalities out there are often hit or miss but we've had a number of success stories with people who've done uh, who've used h-wave therapy and that was the critical piece that helped them recover